Okay, so finally we have it working using sensors. It's actually gone in the wrong direction for some reason. I don't know why. I've calculated something wrongly, but hey ho. Of course, the thing that I forgot is <laughs> in order to actually make it move, you have to have that. You can't have like that that step there energizing for it. It has to energize for its neighbour. And I've mixed that, so I've got them out of the uh, the steps. Uh, the, all they do is just lock it. So anyway. Okay, and uh, I got the phases wrong, but as you can see, it's now turning. So it's using. I'll just what I'll do is I'll just uh, I'll put it just full speed, and then I'll slow it down. And then you can see that it's as I'm doing it, it's it's pulling. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to do it by stopping it and that. You know, you, you, there's no gaps or anything. It's definitely pulling for all six steps. Okay. okay. <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'll stop it. Oh, right, it still turns. <laughs> but what I was going to do is show you. Okay, so as it turns, you can see it's actuating the relays. So let me get both in shot, see? I don't know if it works like that. There you go. So you can see. You can obviously hear it. There you go. So it's actually using the relays in sequence. And I've got my diode matrix board to translate from... These are the sensor inputs. So we've got six sensor inputs, which are in the side. There. Those sensors are those, obviously. Right. And then we've got the connections into the side of the diode matrix. Into the side there. Okay, for the steps. And then the outputs, obviously we've got like six positive going six next six high side and six low side and then we've got the relays and the motor. Okay, so that's the outputs. Well they're all coming from actually the top electrically and they go into the relay inputs. Okay, relay inputs down there and there. And then the outputs, the three phase outputs are the green wires. Which go to the motor and complete the uh, the set. And so I can it's running on let's see can I same problem. Let's just move some of these things around so we can see. So I've got here, what I've done is I've put a couple of series resistors in as a, about 10 ohms there just to sort of drop it down because it was uh, loading the power pack up too much. And I've got it running on 3 volts so you can see it's turning. And as I increase the voltage, it runs faster. So that's uh, 4.5 and then 6, 7.5. 9 and 12. And it's quite amazing actually, I didn't think the relays would be able to keep up, but they are doing. And that's running at a reasonable speed. Considering it's electromechanical, we've got here, these are obviously reed switches. Okay, so they're mechanical. And then obviously that's electronic. And then we've got relays for the outputs, which are also mechanical. And it's sequencing using those relays. I'm quite surprised that it's keeping up. I mean, you can't. I, I'm looking at them. I can see the relays chattering, but it's uh, it's probably only just managing to hang on. And what I'll do, this is a fun bit, right? What I'll do is I'll stop it. I'll need both hands for this, so just hang on. Okay, let's try and prop it up somewhere. A couple of rolls of tape. There you go. <coughs> so you can see it's spinning. All right. And what I'll do is I'm actually going to disconnect that. And I'm going to put it on the full power, so I'll drop it down to 3 volts again, and then I'll reconnect it. And, uh, wow. Now, that's 3 volts straight into the motor. Right, this power pack, uh, I think it's a limit of about 5 amps. So I'm now going to turn it up. This is 3, that's the lowest setting. Now, as you can hear, it's not really changed it much, it's probably because it's at the mechanical limit of the devices. You see? That's fair old going, isn't it? If I stop it, it'll probably trip the power pack out. Yeah, you see? <laughs> trip the power pack out. And that's running on 3 volts. The motor is intended for 7.5. It's a, a remote control motor. Right, and that's the lowest setting I put it on, that's why I put the resistors in, I'm just going to put them back in. Okay, oh, this is really intense. Yeah. 
take those off and put the so it's about 10 ohms just to sort of drop the voltage on the motor down a bit you can see I can, I can stop it right and then you can just like nudge it and it'll take off on its own and it obviously is working for all six because it's uh, if I stop it and then I can just I can just nudge it and it, it takes it. If, it if there was one set missing or something or something wasn't working it wouldn't work smoothly so I can now off it up to 12 okay It's a switch for power supply, so ironically it's probably using PWM to supply the voltage. Well, that's quite amazing, isn't it? It's just the flux of it, the magnetic flux, isn't it? <coughs> so that works fine. There we go. So, obviously the next stage is to use these relays on that motor. <laughs> <laughs> and me same, just put the disc on it, then the uh, reed switches, and uh, we'll see what it does. That's cool, that. It's it's just rubbing a bit, because what happens is that I had to put them quite close. The, the actual reed relay, you can see, they're only just above it, so they're actually catching the disc, which you can hear. See? Uh, because the, the uh, <laughs> it's not exactly uh, flat. It's, it's just a bit of card, you see. And so as a result, it's, it's kind of catching them a bit. And I can't move them further away because it won't actually, uh, it won't switch the reeds. Well, that's my testing anyway. But it's working fine, isn't it? Look at that. That's cool. Eh? Hey. Hmm. That's the whole thing. I just, what I've done is, that this has got a 12 volt supply, it's actually 15 volts so that I can actually put it through the diode circuit and to switch the actual, uh, these relays. These relays are 12 volt relays, so I can't run them on three. So I've put a 12 volt onto the input side, which I'm just picking off my board. Oh, okay. Which I'm just taking off the pick board. Let's just lift that a little bit. There we go. Uh, obviously, it's not going to stop it there, is it? No, yeah, it's pretty amazing, that. What's that old egg? But I'm not going to. <laughs> 